Hello everyone. This video we are going to talk about Western Digital 3.5 inch hard drive analysis, repair, and data recovery. This is an outlook of a Western Digital hard drive, front and back. This picture shows where to locate the hard drive model number. This picture shows where to locate the PCB board number for this particular model number hard drive. For every type of PCB board, the PCB board number location is quite different. Some on the edge, some in the middle, some uh, even inside of the board. If the board number is inside of the board, you have to take off the board to read the number. And also, there are some boards, the board number are so tiny that you have to use the magnifier to read it. Maybe this is uh, because the board number is used for the manufacturer only, not for the end user. But in reality, we do need this board number to find a donor board to rescue a hard drive. We are going to use these two pictures to talk about the basic functions of the PCB board and the hard drive case, and also talk about some quick fix solutions. Picture 1 is the hard drive case after removing the PCB board. Picture 2 is the PCB board. We are going to use the red circle number as sequence to talk about them one by one. 1. Main IC On picture 2, under the red circle 1, is the main IC, also called CPU. Uh, the corresponding part on the hard drive case, on picture 1, under the red circle 1, is the main IC heat sink. And uh, on picture 2, there is a uh, yellow pad. Uh, in the middle is the heatsink pad on the main IC. That means the, the main IC or the CPU will become pretty hot when the hard drive is working. So keep the hard drive cool is always a good idea. And also the hard drive get overheat the hard drive sometimes will not work properly or get some damage as well. 2. Actuator contacts. On picture 2, and the red number 2 are the contacts for the actuator on the PCB board. The corresponding part on the hard drive case on picture 1, and the red number 2 are the contacts for the actuator inside the hard drive. Sometimes cleaning the contacts can fix the problem caused by the poor connection of the contacts. 3. Motor contacts. On picture 2, under the red number 3 are the contacts for the hardware motor the corresponding part on the hard drive case and the red number 3 on picture 1 are the contacts for the motor on the hard drive case. If these contacts get some damage, the hard drive will not spin. It happens, but it is very rare. The hard drive stops spinning. It is a very common problem, and there are many reasons to cause the hard drive stop spinning. Poor motor contacts is only one of the reasons. 4. Motor IC. On the picture 2, under the red number 4, is the motor IC. 
This is the chip to drive the hard drive motor to spin, to spin up the disks. This chip consumes a lot of power in order to spin up the disks, especially if the hard drive keeps running for a long time, this chip will become very hot. And this is the chip which is most likely is the first victim to get overheat and even burned. Sometimes you can see the burn mark on the chip. Sometimes there is no burn mark on the chip, but the chip is damaged inside already. After introducing the basic knowledge of a hard drive, we are ready to talk about the PCB board on the hard drive. The PCB board is a very important part on the hard drive. It controls everything on the hard drive. The hard drive transfer all the information through the PCB board. The PCB board sits outside of a hard drive without any protection. Most of the hard drive heat is generated from the PCB board, especially from the motor chip and the main chip. The chips on the PCB board are extremely high integrated by many microelectronic devices such as resistors, capacitors, transistors. And also this technology is called as SMD, that means surface mount technology. There are many reasons to cause the PCB board not working properly. So we are going to talk how to fix PCB board to rescue a hard drive. One of the best easy and quick solution to fix the PCB board is to swap the PCB board. In order to swap a PCB board, the first step is to find a donor board. In order to find a compatible donor board, we have to know the compatibility of the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we use the hard drive model number and the PCB board number to find a compatible donor board. You may go to www.hdd-parts.com in the search box, input the board number, and then click on Go. The correct donor board is found. PCB board firmware PCB board firmware is the information data on the PCB board. It may be in the memory chip or in the main chip on the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer first, then we swap the PCB board. Otherwise, the new board will not work on the original hard drive. Why do we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer? Because for this model hard drive, one PCB board includes two parts hardware and firmware. The PCB board firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. Regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware transfer, we have three things to mention. First, PCB board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The PCB board firmware transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from one board to another board. The hard drive firmware upgrade 
is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board. Second, we can do the PCB board firmware transfer from the physically damaged PCB board, like a burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. Third, we do the PCB board firmware transfer for our clients for free. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. Two, we fix the PCB board. Three, we ship back the PCB board to the clients. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board bias, and the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB boards BIOS are in the independent memory chip, like the first picture shows. Some PCB boards BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drive PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware, we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of these kind of boards. If you have any questions, such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the BIOS transfer, where is the BIOS of your PCB board? How to swap your PCB board? Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.